While hockey had a rather limited following in China down through the years, the emergence of the first Chinese-born player So An Dong in North America's National Hockey League was a major turning point for the sport in the country. Suddenly, China's young sports fans had a new hero to support. And as it usually goes, many wanted to become professional hockey players when they grew older. The dramatic turnaround was very obvious at a traditional pond hockey tournament in Beijing recently, which drew teams from all around China to compete for the title in rather elaborate uniforms. And it was all about bringing the Canadian lifestyle to China um, with the focus on ice hockey. So as you can tell from you know, the event today, it's, it's much more than just the competition. It's about the lifestyle. You know, the reason why we, we, we invite so many teams from across China is, is really just to connect this community a little bit. We have a, a growing number of Chinese players. The fun on the ice is a testament to the growing popularity of hockey in China. Ten years ago, the sport was not televised in China and was often played on a pond or a lake. Nowadays, with a growing demand for organized and professional training, hockey in China is evolving and expanding. I started playing hockey when I was four years old, and uh, my father gave me a skate and uh, put me in a lake, so this is everything start. I think so all the winter sport is going to be popular. And uh, I think it is a good thing because hockey is a passion and the hockey is making the team work, you know that. Yeah. Joe said when he was growing up, there were only two ice rinks suitable for advanced hockey players. But since China was granted the 2022 Winter Olympics two years ago, many sports, including ice hockey, saw a real pickup in interest. Now in Beijing alone, there are 2,500 youngsters learning the game. They're signed up with 17 clubs and play on 14 rinks across the city. When you go to hockey practice, it's not going there to be involved with just a one-on-one, -on -one, but also a teamwork atmosphere. And that, you know, what you're learning is not only about how to play with a team and how to be a good teammate, but adversity, the ups and downs of the sport. Physically and mentally rewarding and definitely character building. Though still lagging behind countries like Canada or Sweden in professional training, Ice hockey is seeing some real growth in Beijing and is showing huge potential. But some are concerned that the costs associated with the sport make it a rather exclusive one. My son have, has played hockey for four years. Um, it's kind of like 60,000 yuan per year only for the classes. And uh, also we need to update his equipment every year. So like, for example, the stick cost around 1000 With the 2022 Winter Olympics only a few years away, China is looking to groom champions. And as for the International Ice Hockey Federation, finding hockey's very own Yao Ming could be a huge turning point for that as well. Grace Zhao, CGTN.